What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is kind of an off day, but we're gonna check out Porto now that we know like all the sights and stuff, all the sights and scenes and stuff that we saw yesterday. <laughs> yeah, just have more of, oh my God, I don't have it too. Just have more of like a relaxing day and just kind of take it like at our own pace since yesterday we did like that tour where we kind of had like a schedule and everything. Yeah, we have some things that we saw yesterday that we want to go check out for ourselves. Cause we didn't really, we saw like the outside of things, but we didn't like, we weren't able to go in. So we're gonna just walk around. I know Laura has a list of things she wants to do and a cafe that she wants to check out. So let's go get some breakfast and check out what Portra has to offer. Oh, look at those. That's like those new glasses. I got it for her birthday. These are pit vipers. Like they actually came out with a better, like not a better style. Oh, it's like a better style. A style that suits my face more. So thank got these for me for my birthday. Yeah. But yeah, these are cool. I like them. It's currently raining. Oh crap. I don't know if we're gonna do a lot of walking today. We go wait it out in this cafe below us. Yeah, so this is the cafe we're going to. Yeah. And this is where we're staying. So it's really nice. We just haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but maybe we'll stay there till it stops. I knew I should have bought my jacket. The cool thing about this cafe is that it overlooks the water. It's so definitely a cloudy day out here, but it still looks gorgeous. It is 11.05 in the morning. And we are getting started with some cider and some port wine. I really want to start training this more of like, we're on vacation. And vacation means that you start drinking early in the morning, right? Yep. Also, this is the best cider I've had ever in my life in anywhere I've been. The good cider is so freaking good. Angry Orchard Who, and they have a bunch of different flavors. Prices here are just wonderful. This is three and a half dollars. A little or euros. Uh, euros, yeah. I've been wanting to try one of these for so long. You want me to try it first? Yeah, go for it. You can tell what it is. This is the pastis de nada. I think it's like a little egg tart type of thing. Dang, why do you take such a big bite? Jeez, look at that bite. Like you ate half of it. It's pretty good. It kind of tastes like um, creme brulee a little bit. Jeez, this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Look at this breakfast sandwich. Eggs, bacon, and cheese on focaccia bread. It looks so good, we both had to get it. This has to be good, right? Also, is this like a thing everywhere but the US where like the eggs are orange instead of yellow? I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to look like. Ours are just like weird Process? and gross. That's what I think. I don't know, don't don't quote me on it. Just like, I'm curious about that because ever since we left the US, like I've only seen orange eggs. Obviously you guys, if you guys know, leave it in the comments down below. But bon app the tea and enjoy your sandwich. I think I'm gonna eat this like deconstructed. I think I'm gonna like dip my bread in the egg and stuff. Ooh. How rich that looks. She is cultured now. That breakfast was not bad. I'm not upset about it. We got to drink at the same time. Pretty clutch. What do you think? I thought it was pretty good. Is it bad? I'm kind of ready to like, Try something else now. Oh, like another meal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're pretty much burning off all these breakfasts from walking up all these hills on the cobblestone and everything like that. So I don't know, maybe we are. I feel like we can eat as much as we want, honestly, and not have to worry about calories here. I don't know about that. With all this rainy weather, you might not be able to see because of the drops of light. I wish we would have did a tuck tuck. It's like that type of rain that's kind of, it's like not enough for you to stay inside. But it's kind of but, annoying. Yeah, because it's like a mist, like constantly on you. We're gonna power through because I'm not gonna let some rain keep me inside in Portugal. <laughs> we probably should have done this way sooner. We're finally getting some euros out of an ATM. There's a lot of places here you can't tip on your card. So definitely keep that in mind and have some cash. A little fun fact, 20 euros matches the same color as my hair. Of course it does. <laughs> Everything is blue here, which I like it. Color of royalty, right? And this is the first time I've ever touched a euro in my life. This is the sardine place that we were telling you guys about yesterday where they have different cans of sardines depending on what year you were born. So we're gonna go in here and look and find, see if we can find some sardines from like our grandmas or something like that. What, you remember what year your grandma was born? 27, <laughs> dang it. I, I mean, need to they have a, check. They have a 1926 and a 1916, so maybe. Honestly, I thought this was a candy store. Yeah, I can I can see that. It does kind of look like a candy store. As you guys can see, all these different years, different color cans. Your grandma was born in 27. Yeah. Mine was 28, so we're gonna get those for her. And it literally just goes down the line. I don't even know if my grandma likes sardines, but. She's gonna like know. them today. She's gonna like them today. <laughs> we have literally secured the bag. You ready to walk up that tower right there in this rain? No. <laughs> Let's see how busy it is. So we were able to get two tickets for the tower. And online, it was like kind of booked out till five. Online, it, it said it had spots, but then when I went to book it, it didn't have any. So we just came straight here and it was fine. You ready to get your, your leg workout in today? 
Yeah, so what's kind of nice about this is like, it seems like maybe you're not just going straight up a million steps. You get a little museum tour. So I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> so we're just walking around. Just have a seat at the table. Yeah, it says do not touch. So there's a whole wedding going on right now that we just walked into. Oh, sorry, I'm not being too loud. So yeah. We think we're going to the tower. <laughs> Keep going like up and down stairs. The, this looks promising. Yeah, I can't extend it 10 feet, I'm sorry. Oh man, that's so, I'm so try disappointing. To, I'm gonna try to extend it as much as I can. So that wasn't the tower. So but at least we now have a grand view of the wedding that's going on. They have a pretty big wedding party. We have like a whole exhibit here to experience and look at and stuff like that. It's kind of like this is like the church's side hustle where it's just like they have like tithing and communion and all that and then they get tourists to come in here. Like look at all our old stuff. Don't disrespect. I'm just saying it just seems like it's weird to have like a tour inside of a church. Okay, but I also feel like this is smarter than just like passing around the plate to collect money, so. And I feel like you have to be like extra quiet now because one, we're in a church, but two, there's a wedding going on right there. The whole wedding. You could single-handedly destroy someone's wedding, right? Ooh, do you want to? Any publicity is good publicity, right? That'd be some awful karma for a future wedding. It would be. Future wedding. <laughs> I didn't know some of your art was in a museum in Portugal. Yeah, look, boobies right here. The funny thing about this is this is drawn in like ballpoint pen. So it looks like, like they take what people draw during service because they're kind of bored and like waiting for it to be over. And they put it on the art wall. Like it literally looks like that. I feel like if you drew this during service, they would exercise you. Exercise me? What is exorcism? Oh, I was like, what? Would I do like a couple burpees? Like what do you mean? <laughs> no, but it's it's pretty cool to see. There's a lot of artwork around here. I think we're now starting the, the climb. So we actually have a climb. You go first. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go first. This is, this view is amazing. But the stairs, no thank you. Shape, shape, any of you are watching this, I hope you're proud of us. We paid 16 euros to come up and do a workout. Yeah, we're dedicated. It was worth it, it's just a little difficult because people are coming down the stairs. And it's super tight as you so guys So you saw. have to like squeeze when they try and go past you. You're doing a good job, sweetie. Thanks. It's tight. Tight. Very tight, and the stairs are all kind of like different, so it's not predictable. I just want to give a shout out to this person right here for inventing the pulley slash elevator system because stairs are not the vibe anymore. <laughs> Mainly what it was for me, it was harder than I expected, at first of all, but what made it harder was the type of stairs. Some of them were like shorter than others and some of them were higher than others. They're like handcrafted. Super, yeah, so very unique and handcrafted, but it makes for a more difficult journey. Especially how steep it was and how many people were coming down and going up. Definitely wear like comfy shoes and comfy clothes. Don't go dressed up. I swear I saw some girls going up the stairs and booted heel boots with heels. Good for them. <laughs> What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out, it's free. And also, you can always unsubscribe, so why why not just try it out? Just a little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really wanna get into it, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> I think we deserve a reward. Are you talking about this gelato place? That's exactly what I'm Were you about. eyeing it yesterday, like when we were over here by the library? I heard they make flowers out of your gelato. Oh, bet, really? Yep. Okay, well let's go, let's go get some. I wish we can sit outside, but all the stuff is wet. Do you know what flavor you want yet? I have no clue. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. Look at these chairs right here. They remind me of like what you'll see in like France yeah. or Paris, I mean, like people having their coffee, like Emily in Paris, even though I've never seen an episode. Well, I've seen an episode, but it reminds me of like typical European chairs. I don't know why I said Emily in Paris. I could have just said Inception. <laughs> All these flavors look so good. Look at that. 
I think I'm gonna go with this pistachio. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah. See, it's a flower. Yeah, I did not know that. That's pretty cool. What'd you get? Pistachio and dolce leche. I think I got blueberry cheesecake and then black cherry cream something. God. It's so creamy. So creamy. Wow. And this is a small, I think? Yeah. This is all you need. I'm not the biggest ice cream gelato fan, but this is busting. Not even busting, it's busting. Do you pick this or Disney's banana ice cream on the cruise ship? Oh, shoot. Yep. Tricky one. So the funny thing is, there was a banana flavor option over there, and I fought myself and didn't get it. Because I love banana flavor everything, and that's what I always get. Now I'm wishing I had gotten the banana. Because I feel like if it was this was banana, I think it would taste like the Disney one. Well, we are right now are headed back to our Airbnb because we have a premiere to go on or have a premiere to do and then we'll come right back out But it's, it's kind of helps because it's raining so I don't feel too bad and have FOMO of, like missing out I want to go out and do stuff, but it's just not as fun in this weather However, I feel like we could have a good night tonight Oh, especially if we go on to the river where they were where the tour guide was showing us Yes, go out and get some drinks find some good food I want to just like go and sit in like a dive bar and get some really cheap drinks and Oh, you want to be a local local this little thing right here reminds me of our friend Jackie's wedding Like you can see everyone getting on like the chartered buses to go to the reception especially like even the square right here yeah it looks like savannah at least it wasn't raining though that's true yeah that's the wedding party that we saw earlier so we're on our way back to our airbnb for the premiere like we just mentioned but laura stopped at this burger place to show everybody what it caught my eye immediately I mean, it kind of looks like a loaded burger, so then I can see why they use that word. And it must be good, because it got some TripAdvisor awards. Now that the premiere is over, and you guys really came through. Like, we had like a record like 150, 155 people in there. We've never had that many before for a premiere. So shout out to the Travel Squad for that while we're in Portugal. Then we're gonna go celebrate for the few drinks before dinner. I found this really cool spot. And I kind of want to see if they have any like local shots, because I haven't heard of anything. The only drawback is, is like straight up a hill. Also, just want to show off Laura's outfit of the day. What is this, a black romper? This is my um, 2023 cruise outfits one. Let me guess, Shein. Yeah, <laughs> and this is old navy and these are Nike. But basically, like, I want to wear heels and stuff, but that's not possible in Portugal. Especially with these cobblestones. If you've ever been to Savannah, it's probably a little bit worse. So I'm kind of like using this jean jacket and the romper and then the tennis shoes to get a casual, cute outfit. And you were living your best vacation life. I sure am. I think this was $9 and it's a beer flight. How big are the glasses? So I got a pint and those are, that's the beer flight. So it's about two pints of beer, I feel like. So I feel like it's pretty worth it. I got to sample a bunch of different ones and maybe if there's one I really like, I'll go back in and get a full one. And this is what we were referring to earlier. People come out here to hang out and watch the sunset, which you guys can see back there. Cheers. Yeah, I'll get one the same color as you. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Here's a little ambience just to show where we are and like the people and the vibe and all that. So I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit. You guys can experience it as well. After going through the day with all the rain and stuff like that, the sun feels very refreshing. I wish I flew my drone today instead of yesterday because I feel like there's no seagulls over here. But who knows, they might come out of the woodwork. I don't know if we told them about that, did we? Oh, we did not. Probably not. So Fane yesterday when he was flying his drone, like closer, I guess the city center, I don't know. Oh yeah, or to the, the I want to say the chapel, but it's not the chapel, it's the... Um, cathedral. Um, yeah, next to the cathedral. Yeah. And there were a lot of seagulls over so there. So many. They did not like the drone. Like, At all. They were Yes. I've seen it before where like birds attack the drone, but these, I had to put my, if you guys are, if you guys have ever flown a drone, I had to put my drone in sports mode just to get away from them. All you saw, I wish I had filmed this with my phone, but like all you saw was Fame's drone go zoom that way and then like five, five. seagulls like yeah. And they were right on it. I thought for sure a few times that the seagulls were going to take it down and like also kill themselves yeah. because they came this this close to it. You can see it in this video right here. Yeah, kind of. It's like, like, it's like one of them re gets really close yeah, to it. Yeah, it was when I was landing. I was yeah. trying to land really quickly because they were going to come back and get it again. That's Let me just do this real quick because Laura, everything that we've ever had here has been really good. We just got the fried potatoes, just something to snack on before dinner. And it, I haven't had anything bad here. No, not one thing. <laughs> Guys, look at this little solar flare behind Laura and her hair. Oh my gosh, am I in like Transformers Michael Bay over here? Well, what do you think about those? This is literally chopped up potatoes, fried, not really French fries. And then they have some type of, what would you start? <laughs> I knocked it knocked out of my hand. Knocked it out of my hand. 
what would you say that cream is? You know, know. Um, like Fritos, the can of like um, French onion dip. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. If you look at this, you're like, oh, these probably taste like just dry ass potatoes. I could eat like 50 of these, to be honest. It's like perfectly crispy on the outside. Then the inside is like, it's not dry. And it's fried, but it doesn't feel greasy. Which bar do you want to go to next? I'm thinking this one, Tipo. Our next drinks at our new place. I got a big cup of cider and this, and Laura got a mojito. I didn't really know what to get because I didn't want beer, but I just asked her what her favorite drink was and she said mojito, so. We're gonna leave, but you guys can see the sunset out there. It looks magical, so we'll go over there and do Let me try this. It's like key lime pie. So for this, one Laura. I might actually, I, I don't do it anymore, bring out the big camera to get the sunset. I might have to like change our mics over to this, but I feel like I'll be able to get a good sunset with this, especially with Nerd Alert, this ND filter I have on here. But yeah, let's drink a little bit of these and then head out. Laura, look at this sunset right here. It is <laughs> nuts. So beautiful. So gorgeous. And so surreal. Oh man, wow. <laughs> Like, I'm glad we were able to experience that before we went to dinner. It looks gorgeous. These pictures take themselves, like. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, you're happy. I love it here. So this is very much a local spot. You guys can see that there's a lot of people over here. I think you picked a good spot. You found a good Airbnb. This is literally right down the street Thank from our Airbnb. You. And it feels local too. It's not like touristy. Honestly, most of the city does not feel touristy. Not at all. It still feels very like comfortable and like safe. We saw the sunset, let's go get some dinner. So one thing that I really did appreciate and it actually made me smile today is that when you were in the bathroom, another black guy walked in and we just like nodded at each other. So like, it's like the international language of like black men. It's just like a cool respect thing. I love that. It makes me happy. So we're at a place called Farina or Francisca. I can't remember the name of it, but it's cold out here. And what did they give you, Laura? They give you a nice little blanket. And it's very soft. We have about a 20 minute wait, but it's nice that we're sitting outside and we actually get like blankets and stuff like that. It feels good out here to me. Like I don't even need this, honestly. But... I, I'm not the same. I'm in a thin shirt, short sleeve shirt. You're in a, a whole jean jacket. Yeah, but I'm wearing a romper, it's short. Oh, true, true. It's actually been really nice to be in a city that you can just walk and not have to worry about Ubers or taxis or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's just refreshing. It is nice. However, it would be really, Really, really nice if it weren't for the hills. It can say like, oh, this thing is like 400 feet away from you, but it just it with feels a 200, so much longer. With a 200 foot elevation. <laughs> a few times I've been like, please, can we take an Uber? And Thane tells me no. No, it's a nice walking city. See, Portugal. this is why we did Runyon in LA, so to get prepared for Portugal. Yeah, but since we moved, I have not been working out. So I am not in shape right now. We finally got in the club. I'm really hungry now. Yeah, we were waiting for a little bit in the cold, but this place looks good. Every, every pizza I see looks good. Just smells like fresh and amazing. If you guys want to see the menu, here it is. I'll try to go slow. But part one of those are English. I know it's low light, so it's kind of like shaky, but maybe you'll be able to pause it. What I'm looking forward to the most though, is not the food, not the like the main course. It's the tiramisu Oreo, Oreo tiramisu. Oh my God, they have, they have pistachio creme brulee. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. I guess I'll be getting the Oreo and then you'll get the pistachio. This is why I want to send people on travel sprees, just because they can experience like different cultures, a lot better food. And it's just it's just nice to like broaden your horizon and see other cultures and how they live. Bain and I both agreed this is probably the best hummus we've ever had. And it's like literally the hummus changed my life, so I'm, I'm just speaking proverbs now. <laughs> and we discovered this last minute. Yeah. And it's search good. for restaurant clothes. And it's good, it's not filling, it's not heavy like, like how food is in America. This is why I wanted to send people on travel sprees when we get big enough for the channel so they can experience this too and open their minds to like different cultures and something different that they than what they know. This is too good. Like, I'm gonna be pissed when I get back to the U.S. So, I'm just gonna say this, and it's wow. <laughs> like, wow, wow, wow. So, Laura wants to be just like me, and I ordered the pesto pizza, which looks amazing. We both wanted this. Look, this pizza looks amazing, and I can't wait to dive in. So, it comes with your own pizza cutter, so you don't have to use like a knife or anything like that, which is cool. Let's dig in. I'm so excited. We waited so long for this. All I have to say is, holy shit. 
I was totally going in here with the expectation of the crust being hard, but it's like super soft. Like it's just, look at that. It's so soft and so thin. What do you think? It's honestly a little more mild than I was expecting. I think the ham is like needed on this to provide a little bit of saltiness. The crust is like incredible. One out of 10, what do you say? I was like one out of 10. Um, I'll get an 8 out of 10. I'm happy. This is good pizza. Well, that was a satisfying end to this day. I am happy, satisfied, full, and ready to knock out. I love this city. But anyway, guys, we're just going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, please leave a like. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you really like us, you can hit that join button down below, and you can get a few extra perks. Yeah, join our membership. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys later. Bye! Tomorrow should be a really exciting for us. Yes, we're going on another excursion. Don't your body feel so tired.